Coptic Synaxarium, March 9, Measure 30. The Departed, His Holiness Pope Cyril, Curtilos, Vi. The 116th successor to Saint Mark the Evangelist. 1902-1971. On March 9, Measure 30, the remembrance of the departure of the great Pope, Papa Eva, Curtilos, Cyril, Vi the 116th successor of St. Mark the Evangelist. He was Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark before our present Pope, Papa Avish Shinauda III. Anba, His Holiness, Kurilos was a holy man who through full dedication to the life of prayer and fasting possessed many higher gifts which included performing wonders and miracles, the gift of knowledge, and an unusual ability to lead by example which was missing for generations before his ascending to the throne of St. Mark. He sat on the chair of St. Mark for twelve years, 1959-1971. He had the honor and showed the wisdom needed to guide the Coptic Church through the difficult times of the 1960s when the government of then Gamal Abdel Nasser was nationalizing business, real estate, and land including those willing to the churches and monasteries. He was highly regarded by the people of Egypt from all walks of life Christian and non-Christian alike. Pope Kurilos VI was born August 2, 1902, as Azrada, the son of a church deacon from a middle-class family. After completing high school, Azar went to work for a shipping company in Alexandria. Much against his family's wishes, he resigned his job with the intention of becoming a monk and entered the monastery of Baramis named after S.T.S. Maximus and Domadius, in the western desert of Egypt in an area called Bariat Shahit, the prairie of the hard scale. On the 25th of February, 1928, he has consecrated monk. He was given the monastic name Mina after Saint Mans his patron saint. Three years later he was ordained a priest, July 18, 1931. Father Mean attended the Helm Theological College and was rated one of the top students. Later, he retired to a cave two miles away from the monastery to live a life of solitude. That is how he came to be known as Abouna Mina al Wade, Father Mina the Solitaire. Afterward, he was appointed a bot of the monastery of St. Samuel in the eastern desert, south of Suex near the Red Sea. He devoted a great deal of effort to the restoration of this historic landmark. When the monastery of St. Samuel was restored, he left that area and moved to a deserted windmill south of Cairo. The windmill belonged to the army, and long after, it was revealed that he paid a nominal rent for it when he found out that it belonged to the army. This is near the historic region of Masr al Kadma, ancient Cairo. He restored the place and built a small residence and a church on the name of Saint Mina his patron saint. He found himself surrounded with college students, many of them are from outside Cairo, so, he started a dormitory for students who need this service. This informal program produced the first church-affiliated dorm in modern times in Egypt, and produced countless church leaders, some of whom are our present bishops, priests and laity leaders. The likes of His Holiness Pope Shinalda, his successor, the late Bishop Samuel, etc. After the abduction of his predecessor, the late Pope Yausp, Joseph II by militant cops, the church was in great turmoil which did not last long, because it was the will of God the Pope Yausp departed shortly thereafter. In April, 1959, Father Mina al Modawid was elected Pope and Patriarch through the unique process used in the Coptic Church to elect a Pope. Candidates for the honorable position are nominated, three or four of the nominees are elected by the Holy Synod as most qualified. The final selection is left to the will of God and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, by placing the names on the altar during the appointed day of final selection. A young deacon is then asked to draw a name which is then the one chosen by God from among the qualified candidates for this high calling. In May, 1959, Father Mina became Pope and Patriarch by the laying of the hands of all the bishops of the Coptic Church at the time, he was called Pope Kurilos VI.
that means that five popes before him were called Kurilos. The first Pope Kurilos is Cyril of Alexandria the Pillar of Faith. During his tenure as Patriarch, many were attracted to monastic life and to the priesthood by his good example and sincere lifestyle. As a teenager growing in Egypt at the time I used to attend Vespers regularly at the great St. Mark Cathedral, al Darbal was, in Cairo where His Holiness lead the prayers and many of us had the blessing of seeing him, talking to him, and getting his blessings. He always paid attention to the people and spent many hours blessing and chatting with young and old. He always encouraged us during exams seasons, and prayed for our success. No wonder many joined the priesthood from the ranks of college graduates in all fields which was previously not considered the thing to do. Many books have been written about his life, wonders and miracles. The author recommends the publications of Pope Kurilos the Vice Society which are published originally in Arabic and translated to many live languages, English, French, German, etc. We are going to mention just a few. Some have not published elsewhere and was related to the author by relatives and friends. His Holiness had the gift of knowledge, so one day, he was visited by two men, one was well known to His Holiness. When the gentleman introduced his friends to His Holiness, Pope Kurilos looked at the man and said, Why don't you like us? I love you and like to see you here always. The man was very ashamed because he thought evil of our beloved Pope and had argued with his friend about the use of meeting a simple man. This man became a great admirer of Anbukurilos and his son was healed from terrible illness through the prayers of Anbukurilos. Miracles of healing and casting out of devils from a non-Christian young lady was related to me by a very dear relative. She was the daughter of his boss in a textile factory near Alexandria. She was one of twenty-two children, possessed by demons and was withering away. Her father loved her very much. He spent a fortune on real doctors and witch doctors as well, with no results. On day, he called my relative to his office and said, You have Sheikh Kabir, great elder? Can you introduce me to him? My relative promised to arrange a meeting. He traveled to Cairo and arranged with the Pope's secretary a meeting for the afternoon of a specified date. He was supposed to meet them at the door and introduce them to the staff to take them to the house of the Patriarchate. The people were very anxious, they arrived early. His Holiness recognized them although he was not told, ordinarily, people were brought in, and they told him their needs. Anbi Kurilos called the young lady by her first name put his cross on her forehead, she fell down sobbing. From that moment on, she was completely whole. In his last days, he was gravely ill with phlebitis, blood clot in the leg. They hooked a speaker from the great cathedral to his bedroom at his request because he could not bear not being able to perform liturgy, which he performed almost daily during his life of priesthood. One day the head mother of one of the convents, monasteries for nuns, wanted to speak to him on the phone, but the staff wouldn't give out his private number. Anbi Kurilos appeared to her in a vision, gave her the number and comforted her. She did not call, but later on she was blessed by seeing him and was rendered speechless when Anbi Kurilos asked her the reason she did not call on his private line. Our father Papa Eva, the great Pope, Kurilos departed on March 9, 1971. Shortly before his departure, he told one of the monks, You look like Tobia, the one mentioned in the book of Tobit. Take care of my burial. Initially, they buried him under the altar in the great cathedral in Cairo. But when his successor, the great patriarch, Pope Shinald and the third read his will, he had to follow his wishes and move his holy body to the desert southwest of Alexandria to the monastery of St. Mina which was renovated and immensely expanded by Pope Kurilos to honor his good friend, patron saint, St. Mina of Marriott. That is where his place of rest. It is the custom of apostolic churches to wait fifty years after departure, before declaring a person a saint. And although many in our generation feel deeply about the worthiness of Anba Kurilos, we anxiously are waiting until this day comes. 
his prayers and the prayers and intercessions of his patron, Saint Mean of Marriott be with us. Glory be to God forever, Amen.